So I would like to touch up on some nutraceuticals if it is okay with you guys. So 4DM, this is a product that's made from Pterococcus and Gymnema. This product is for uh, diabetes. Pterococcus. This is for diabetes. So this is a sugar killer. Basically, you have to give it one cap, one tablet or two tablets before meals. So you give it before meals to your diabetic people. You also give it to cancer people. Why? Because cancer is basically feeds on sugar. So I want to decrease the sugar in the person's blood. So what will I do? I give them 4 dm. So 4 dm brings down your sugar. Once it brings down your sugar, then you start your IV, IVCT, your uh, insulin potentiation therapy, your cancer therapies, your ozone and all that. So as I said, supplements are to supplement whatever you're doing. The second one. Amino complex. Now this amino complex contains all the essential and non-essential amino acids in the, in the right ratio. The ratio is important. So we've got the ratio right. And this is also glutamine free. Why glutamine free? Glutamine free because glutamine feeds cancer. So we do not want glutamine because glutamine is an amino acid that feeds cancer cells. Now most of the people after chemo or after radiation start losing weight. They become very thin and they, and they need protein. They start getting PE and protein energy malnutrition. So when you give them whole protein, that contains glutamine and that's actually going to harm them. So we give them these aminos which are glutamine free. And these glutamine free aminos actually help the metabolism or actually help the cancer metabolism for them, for the, uh, for the person. Secondly, diabetics, people, diabetics who start to lose muscle, you put them on aminos, but not every day. Put them on aminos once a week, only once a week or twice a week. So you give them this combination amino complex once a week or twice a week along with the previous one 4DM. 4DM will have every day. Third use of aminos is for people for endurance and gymming. Okay, because aminos are anyway broken down into proteins or form proteins. So what is the dose for gymming? You need a higher dose. So around 4 capsules or 5 capsules a day. Bacopa monin. This is this this basically is an extract of the Brahmi plant. Now bacopa is used for memory. Bacopa is used for autism. Bacopa is used basically in all uh, uh, neural disorders. Okay. Now you can also add this bacopa for kids who you know. Uh, who I, I give it to ADD kids because I don't like to give them Adderall and all that. You just give them bacopa. Bio C. Now you know the richest source of vitamin C is amla. Now bio C is basically a product that's made that's extra amla and vitamin C together. So it contains the tannins also of amla and this retains the vitamin C in the body for a very long time. So if you want to give them a natural source of vitamin C, you can give them, you know, bio C. Bromelain, bromelain basically comes from pineapple. Now, where do you use bromelain? Bromelain can be used for lungs. It can be used for smokers detox. It can be used post COVID. It can be used post vaccine. People with COPD and bromelain is also a very good proteolytic agent. So solid tumors. In your solid tumors, you can give bromelain. Give them bromelain and you'll gradually see the tumor getting soft. The tumor, you know, starting to become smaller okay now bromelain comes from the center of the pith of the pineapple so it is also a good digestive enzyme candida cleanse now you know candida is present in almost all the guts and this candida fungus or this candida yeast 
is a culprit for everything. A special, uh, I mean, even in women, they have recurrent vaginal infections. How often can you give them ketoconazole? You can't give them for a long period of time. You have to give them ketoconazole, then you give them ozone, and you put them on candida for a long period of time because it's all herbs. So it's one capsule at night. It's one capsule at night. Now, people who eat a lot of cheese, pizza, fast food, maida, grow candida in the gut. Now, candida, what is it made of? It contains basically rosemary extract, it contains oregano extract, it contains thyme extract, it contains all herbs. Now, these are natural herbs that have to be actually added when you make pizza, when you make, when you eat cheese or when you eat you know these kind of uh, foods containing maida and all that but you don't add it every day that's why you need to take a nutraceutical next one cell cycle you know that <coughs> what is methylation so every time your cell divides you have methylating agents in the body and every time your cell divides these methylating agents methylate the DNA. If your DNA is not methylated properly, you have telomer shortening and this telomer shortening causes aging. This telomer shortening causes inflammation, causes all different types in the body. So in the micro environment, when we were talking about epigenetics, I told you the macro environment and the micro environment. So in the micro environment, we've you know, formulated certain methylating agents in the right proportion and put it in cell cycle. So cell cycle can be used for methylation or methylation disorders. So somebody was asking me, what if MTHFR is positive? Yes, if you are MTHFR positive, give them cell cycle. Okay, you have choline in cell cycle, you have P5P in cell cycle, you have tetramethyl hydrofolate in cell cycle. Coenzyme Q10, we all, all know about coenzyme Q10. It's mitochondrial food used for the heart, used for the liver. Now, um, the new coenzyme Q10 is coenzyme Q10 with Arjuna. Arjuna, the new one which we have, the one which we are uh, shipping out now is with Arjuna. So, when you, you order coenzyme Q10, you will get it automatically with Arjuna. So, it definitely supports your heart function. It's not plain coenzyme Q10. Cranberry D mannose. We all know cranberry D mannose is good for kidney. Kidney stones, recurrent UTIs, especially in women who get recurrent UTIs. You put them on cranberry D mannose. Men also who get recurrent UTIs, you put them on cranberry D mannose. Post prostatic surgery, you know, taking uh, post TURP, give them cranberry D mannose. That will help them regenerate. Curcuma boswellia. Curcuma boswellia is for joints. Basically, it's curcumin and boswellic acid. Boswellic acid comes from the plant boswellia serrata or nothing but frankincense, the, that, that good smelling gum and that's very good for joints. So, all kind of joint pains and all you use curcuma boswellia. So, curcuma boswellia is for joints. Hesperidine. Now, hesperidine and bromelain. Now, hesperidine comes from oranges. You know, oranges is one of the very good cosmetic product, orange peel. It is also very good for cancers. And it is also very good for varicose veins. So, when you give hesperidine, I give all the people with varicose veins, I give them hesperidine capsules and hesperidine cream. Then there are papers post COVID because what COVID, COVID is causing problems in the microvascular. So you give them bromelain and hesperidine, post vaccine, bromine and hesperidine. So all the post vaccine patients, I give them one bromelain, one hesperidine in the night. Liver cleanse, liver cleanse contains three very important herbs, milk thistle, dandelion root and phyllanthus neroli. This is good at, in its name, it's good for cleansing the liver. So alcoholics, NASH patients, people who eat too much of fatty foods, 
one capsule at night that's it so generally what i do is that i give them one liver cleanse at night one candida cleanse so alternate days one day liver cleanse one day candida cleanse milk thistle. yes milk thistle dandelion root and phyllanthus neruri that is called bhumi amla but no ala no ala because ala is there in cell cycle so because usually the patients who take supplements don't take only one they take a basket of supplements now they take three or four so it's not good to overdose in supplements what i have seen today is what was happening in medicine some time ago there's something called polypharmacy where a doctor writes three different beta blockers for the same patient what is the use so the same thing is happening in nutrition you are giving too much of the same nutrition to the same patient so that's why we've tailored it in such a way if you are in the system you get the right dose of nutrition for the right you know um uh, this of the patient mct oil mct oil is medium chain triglyceride now this mct oil is made from coconuts in coconut oil what is the difference between coconut oil and mct oil coconut oil contains mct oil but only one to 3% over here we have 98 to 99% of mct oil and mct means c8 c10 and c12 chain now c10 and c12 these chains do not cross the blood brain barrier what crosses the blood brain barrier is c8 so you need only c8 because c8 is also a form of caprylic acid it's a derivative of caprylic acid so having a good c8 and caprylic acid makes a good mct oil now how do you know a test you can't have a laboratory with you every batch you go to the laboratory and test right as a normal physician you open and you taste there should be no smell and no taste if there's no smell and no taste it's a good mct oil so melatonin everyone knows about the melatonin so we have melatonin with valerian root so we have decreased the amount of melatonin and added valerian root so that you know you you can get good sleep and also we give it in cancers nano curcumin you all know about nano curcumin so this is one of you know our flagship products nano curcumin and this uh, can be used for cancers we have studies where we've shown that breast cancer cells have actually uh, uh died 80% of breast cancer cells have stopped dividing and died by addition of nano curcumin and these studies were carried out in the department of science and technology government of india and we have published these papers showing that the nano curcumin is you know anti breast cancer and has anti cancer effects so you have it both in powder and in capsule nano ashwagandha so again as i said this nano ashwagandha is nano particles of your ashwagandha so the absorbability is very high it can be used for stress it can be used for fatigue it can be used for you know today what we call it as computer syndrome where the every whole day people are on computer and they get fatigued very fast so you give them pomegranate extract basically pomegranate extract is used for hemoglobin and prostate cancer so people with uh, even benign enlargement of prostate or prostate cancer you know or anything with recurrent urination in the males where they have the prostatic problem you give them pomegranate and you can also give them you know females who have low hemoglobin along with you know the greens with wheat grass you give them pomegranate and gradually you'll see it improving raspberry ketones we all know that raspberry ketones are for weight loss so people who are on a ketogenic diet to boost it you add raspberry ketones to it still you can take raspberry ketones your appetite comes down but if you take two in a day one in the morning one in the afternoon so you you the appetite was already low then pardon appetite is already low then so then what happens so is that it 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 pushes it pushes your fat to form ketones so your body starts but when you are on raspberry ketones it's important consciously not to eat carbohydrates or try to eat minimal carbohydrates 
because if you eat carbohydrate then you will not lose weight right that's it, it's a waste of your medicine nothing is going to have any side effect but anyway people who are on weight loss they know that they are not going to eat much carbohydrate so putting a raspberry ketone will give their metabolism a boost spirulina and chlorella this is one capsule that we have of the algae spirulina and chlorella this contains this can be used for hemoglobin this can be used as a detox it's a very good detox because it detoxes heavy metals it can also be used in supporting your thyroid gland so if you have thyroid and you're giving them thyroid supplements or eltroxin also put them on spirulina chlorella so you can give them some iodine put them on spirulina chlorella and you give them your eltroxin and gradually you'll see their dose of that decreases okay so thank you so much and it was really nice and if thank you for listening and if there are any questions you can just message me or call me or ask me right now on anything pardon yeah so uh, i have sent you the phone number in the group did you oh, can you open the group yes over there there's the phone number you just call them or you can call me directly so i i was trying to explain you what is glycation so glycation means addition of glucose molecule to a particular cell so when you add it to rbc it is glycation of rbc when you add it to glucose to collagen it is glycation of collagen that's what i was trying to explain so glycation of collagen is also good because that brings the this in the face yeah